With a Democratic governor in the State House, it could be a banner year for Jersey Democrats hoping to sweep Republicans out of their long held congressional seats. Last week, our chief political correspondent asked the state Republican Party chair about his strategy in the upcoming midterm elections. Now it's state Democratic Party chair John Curry's turn to sit down with Michael Aaron. Mr. Chairman, as you know, there are five Republican congressional seats in New Jersey. How many of those do you think you can flip in November? Well, Michael, I hope I can flip them all. Uh, I tell you, Michael, we have uh, recruited the best uh, crop of uh, challengers that we've had in decades. They're all fundraising well. Uh, they're all very, very qualified. So uh, I know it's going to be tough, but I'm looking to sweep New Jersey. Let me play a little game with you. Uh, let's take what I would handicap as the likeliest pickup and run down to the least likely pickup. Likeliest pickup, Jeff Van Drew over Seth Grossman in District 2. Next most likely, Mikey Sherrill succeeding Rodney Freelingheisen over Jay Weber. Next, uh, Tom Malinowski upending Leonard Lance. Uh, starting to get now to the least likely, Andy Kim upsetting Tom MacArthur, and least likely, Josh Welly beating Chris Smith. What do you think about my order there? I, I think your order is correct. Uh, I would not count uh, Kim out against uh, MacArthur. Uh, I know MacArthur has the ability to put a lot of his own funds in. Uh, as you know, they're calling that a toss-up race at this point, uh, but it's uh, too much to go. But uh, I think we have a, a chance, particularly if we get out to vote, that we hope to in our blue wave. Former President Obama endorsed uh, about 30 candidates around the country. Right. Two in New Jersey, Tom Malinowski against and Leonard Kemp. Lance and Andy Kim, Andy Kim. Uh, against Tom MacArthur. Some of us were surprised that he didn't endorse Mikey Sherrill. Do you well, know? I, it's my understanding that President Obama plans to endorse more candidates. Uh, I have to say I was disappointed, but I do understand both of those gentlemen worked in the Obama administration, and of course he knows them personally, but uh, there's no one better qualified to represent the 11th District than Mikey Sherrill. Let me talk to you a little about state politics. Your party, despite having all the power positions, is divided. Uh, there is the Murphy faction. There is the Sweeney faction. How do you, as state chairman, navigate that? Well, uh, you know, Michael, I don't necessarily see it that way. You know, they're all the speaker, the Senate president, and of course, they're all they're wonderful gentlemen. And uh, I don't see us as being divided. Uh, I see them as having some differences. Uh, we all have differences. I respect that. Uh, it's just with the budget process. And I just encourage them all, come to a reasonable compromise, and let's do what's best for the citizens of New Jersey. You're not saying that Murphy and Sweeney aren't at least rivals, if not enemies, are you? Well, uh, Is it rivals or enemies? Well, maybe they're rivals. I don't think they're enemies. Uh, the Middlesex County chairman, who sides with South Jersey Democrats, right. Kevin McCabe, uh, was critical of you, saying that when Murphy and Sweeney and Coughlin were at odds over the budget, that you weighed in on behalf of Murphy. Uh, true? Untrue? Well, I, I make no bones about it. Our state party, the way we've been set up and the way I've come up in it nearly 35 years, uh, it's always been the governor's party when the governor is in control. I make no bones about it. I believe in uh, Phil Murphy. I believe in his vision. And uh, I make no bones that I'm a supporter of Phil Murphy. I have absolutely nothing against uh, Senate President uh, Sweeney or Speaker Coughlin. I think they're both fine gentlemen. We're starting to see more U.S. Senate race ads on TV, particularly from the Hugan camp. Right. Much more than from the Menendez camp, at least so far. Uh, 
What's the strategy on the Menendez side? When are they going to start matching Hugan on television? I will commit to you that I think you will start to see some Menendez ads within the next two weeks. Uh, uh, Senator Menendez is doing very, very well in New Jersey. I'm confident that we're going to reelect him. Uh, we're going to get out to vote. He's the best person for New Jersey. Uh, his opponent would just be a rubber stamp for, for Donald Trump. Speaking of Trump, what role do you see him playing in the election in November in terms of the New Jersey electorate? Well, if he's looking at his uh, polling numbers in New Jersey, uh, I would be surprised if many candidates would invite him in. I know McCarthy is the only one uh, that supported uh, him in the past, but uh, I don't see how he would help any candidate in any district. Uh, the stock market is good. The economy is good. He hasn't started a war. Not uh, yet. Uh, you could say that we have peace and prosperity under Donald Trump, you could say. Uh, uh, Donald Trump is a divider. You know, Donald Trump is not for health care uh, for Americans. He's done nothing for infrastructure in New Jersey. Uh, look at what he's done with the tunnel. Uh, listen, he's from New York. He should want that tunnel built. Uh, it should have been built under Chris Christie. And, you know, he's been a stumbling block with that. Uh, I, I don't think that uh, New Jersey wants anyone connected to Donald Trump. Democratic State Chairman John Curry, thanks very much. My pleasure.